What is the meaning of discrete math? Discrete math combines all branches of mathematics that have distinct structures or that are countable. The structures that you study have countable sets like integers and definite graphs. It's mostly applied in computer science and thus has become a popular subject. Computer scientists use math concepts in programming languages, cryptography, and algorithms, in particular, they apply combinatorics and graph theory. Discrete math deals with content such as set theory, graph theory, logic permutation, etc. This subject falls under the second category of math, and we have another one called continuous. What is the difference between discrete math and continuous math? Mathematics is divided into two categories, discrete math and continuous math. Discrete math deals with whole numbers, integers, and definite objects, while continuous handles real numbers and approximations. To simplify, you can refer to discrete math as representing counts, the number of items, while continuous measures amounts, for example, the weight and volume of an object that are approximations. Why should you learn discrete math? This subject has become important at all levels of education for the following reasons. The concepts in this subject are real in the world. In discrete math, you learn about probability and counting from middle school to college. These subjects help you explore the issues in the world today, like epidemics and drought. This math teaches reasoning and proof strategies e involves the application of creativity and reasoning to solve the questions. It has fewer formulas to memorize but deep knowledge to apply in different ways. Discrete math enhances your problem-solving skills. This subject aims to build your creativity and improve your problem-solving ability. It's basic math. You require knowledge of discrete math in middle school, college, and further studies. Therefore, if you start learning this subject early, the better for you to succeed at the college level. It helps you understand other subjects like computer science. There is a lot of knowledge in this math that you can transfer to computer science, especially while learning algorithms, networks, databases, software design, etc. It's also necessary for computing. Modern computer science requires mathematics to develop great software to solve rising problems. Therefore any computer science student requires a foundation in this subject, especially in combinatorics and graph theory. If you are already enrolled in a computer science course and want to learn these deeper concepts, Request our computer science homework help. Which topics do we cover in discrete math help? There are various topics of discrete math that we review. Below are a few examples of what we handle in this unit. 1. Graph theory. This topic deals with various graphs. A graph is a set of points called nodes connected through a series of lines and edges. The study of graphs is essential for mathematics, engineering, and computer science. Graphs help represent all types of real-world problems, for example, rainfall patterns, effects of earthquakes, disease patterns, etc. 2. Number theory, it deals with the study of natural numbers, especially their divisibility properties. It focuses on the properties of whole numbers. 3. Probability theory. Probability identifies the possibility of occurrence in an event or situation. The likelihood of an event is usually represented through numbers between 0 and 1. Probability has been applied in various sectors, such as genetics, weather forecasting, marketing, etc. 4. Combinatory, it's a special branch of discrete math that deals with counting and organizing. It applies mathematical operations to count items and arrange them. This topic helps calculate the number of operations required in a computer algorithm section. Combinatory handles binomial theorems, factorials, counting theorems, and Pascal's triangle. 5. Set theory, a set is a collection of any particular thing. This branch collects objects. And the sets are definite. For example, a collection of literary fiction books and a set of even numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8. The subtopics in sets include operations on sets, spaces, subgroups, semigroups, rings, fields, etc. 6. Binary trees, binary it's a tree with subtrees and is out into distinct order. You will learn topics such as definite ordered rooted trees, a transversal of binary trees, expressions, counting of binary, and more. Learn more about how binary tree knowledge applies in other fields. Where can you apply discrete math skills? Discrete math is a foundational subject, especially in computer science and it has been widely applied in various areas, probability, this topic has been widely applied in different fields. For instance, when programmers develop a system, it will likely pick up or even crash, cryptography, 
is the study of creating security structures and passwords for computers and other systems. The number theory topic allows the creation of numerical passwords. Passwords usually hide confidential information, therefore, cryptographers should have a solid foundation in the number theory for secure passwords and encryption methods, logistics, discrete math makes logistics possible. It applies graphs and graph theory to solve complex logistical problems. Officers in this field can determine the best shipping routes and solve other issues, algorithms, these are guidelines by which a computer operates. Discrete math helps form these laws, it determines the number of steps an algorithm completes and makes it faster. Google Maps, use discrete math to identify the fastest driving routes. Again, any social networking site applies graph theory to understand how information is transmitted to become viral. Image processing, converting an image into digital form and performing some tasks. During a criminal investigation, the officers require digital images to extract some information. This technique usually converts an image into two dimensions, logical puzzles, puzzles usually use logic and reasoning. People use them for brain exercises, recreational purposes, and testing someone's reasoning ability. These puzzles apply the propositional logic as explained in this article. Best tricks for learning discrete math, students perceive discrete math to be more difficult than any other math, even calculus. So, beginners usually doubt whether the subject will be easy or not. If you have a good background in mathematics, you will find discrete math easier even than other subjects. Again having the best tutors is a great idea as they will teach you reasoning art. The tricky issue in discrete math concerns mathematical structures that need proof. Students should find proof, as mathematical problems may not have a clear answer. However, if you choose the best tutors to help you and apply the tips below, you are guaranteed to pass. Therefore, seek our discrete math homework help and get the best results. 1. Make a nice study plan in advance, prepare a study plan as early as you get the course outline. Have a personal study plan that will cover the whole semester. Always be sure to meet your study objectives to avoid being caught up. You can identify the tricky topics and seek help from your professor. 2. Prepare early for your exams, this technique works magic for all subjects and it's even recommended in our How to Get Good Grades in Math. It's obvious when you are ready for an exam, you will surely pass. You can improve if you follow your revision schedule to the letter. Also, handling every challenging issue immediately eases the burden. 3. Ensure you understand all math topics. Don't be choosy as you learn or attend lessons, take all topics seriously. Allocate enough time for each topic and be attentive as you learn in class. Also, ask questions where you need clarification as the lecturer teaches. Again, work out all the end-of-topic questions to confirm you understood everything. 4. Use the recommended reference materials, using the best reference materials is the perfect way to supplement your learning. These materials offer guidance on the examinable areas, and their practice tests are ideal.